we are based in Canada, based in Ontario. We've got two, two locations, one in Toronto, one in Ottawa. Our focus is on cooling efficiency, optimizing cooling within a data center. Uh, we've worked in all varieties, all kinds of data centers over the last 12, 13 years. Um, and I say we've been fortunate enough to partner with Kerry on, a, on a, quite a number of containment installations in those sites as well. But uh, we have a we have a full slate of energy conservation measures that we look at, and say containment is one of the one of the key areas that we uh, look at as well, and that's what our what our focus will be today. The SCTI, it's cooling, cooling efficiency, cooling energy reduction within data centers. That's our primary play. How do we achieve that? We've over the last few years we've developed what we refer to as our cooling optimization process and starts off with a getting to know you phase, the consulting phase, doing a, doing an audit and developing metrics of your data centers. Effectively, anytime we go in to make a change in a data center, we need to know how that data center is operating. What are you planning on doing with the data center? Uh, what are the current conditions in that data center? What's the IT load overall? How is it operating? We take that data, we then turn that into a technical and financial feasibility. Effectively, that's a business case that you can then take to your management and say, hey, here's what we can do to improve the efficiency of our data center. Here's what the project costs will be. Here's the savings and here's the timelines that we can do this work within. And fortunately, over the last few years, we've evolved from just doing consulting to actually a full solutions delivery. So when you work with us, we work with you and we provide you with everything that, that is required to deliver for that installation. We do the detailed design. We work with the contractors, making sure that the work is done right. And we implement uh, a very strenuous project management system in order to make sure that everything is online and that you are kept advised uh, throughout the process. The result of that, of course, all of our projects, the, the focus is on energy reduction on the OPEX side, making your data center more eco-friendly, saving energy by optimizing cooling, but we also focus on the CAPEX side, which takes into account the increase in cooling capacity that we can develop for your data center, which in turn, means capacity for more IT load, means deferring costs for new cooling systems and site expansion. So it's a very strong win-win for the customer, both on the OPEX side and on the CAPEX side. So how do we do that? We have what we refer to as our ECM toolbox. And within that toolbox, like any mechanic, we have a number of different tools that we use depending upon the conditions of the site. In this case today, we're going to be talking about airflow management, or better defined, I think, as airflow optimization. Of course, if you look at it, most data centers today are cooled using air and airflow, and that's the key point that we always start to address when we go into a data center to improve conditions within that data center. You have to improve airflow if you're going to make any significant changes within that data center. And if you see in the bottom left corner of our slide, you'll see airflow rules. That is the key. Uh, you can make other changes within your data center, but if you don't make that fundamental change on airflow, you will not be achieving the maximum efficiency or maximum energy savings that you could be if you look after airflow management first. 